and inviting disaster will return in a moment on Modern Marvels. We now return to inviting disaster on Modern Marvels. One thing we can be sure of now is that the public's trust can be lost rather quickly. One mistake, one irreversible consequence, the trust goes away and those people on the machine frontier might lose that spot forever. Saturday, 10 a.m. Reporters at Three Mile Island are now asking questions not to get a news story, but to have a sense of whether they should be running for their lives. From almost the moment the story reached them, the press has felt there was no one in authority they could trust. Met Ed officials obviously are spinning the facts, and the NRC reactions are confused and contradictory. Among the people most concerned by the confusion is the President of the United States. Jimmy Carter is a trained engineer and a veteran of the Navy's illustrious nuclear submarine program. He now tells NRC Commissioner Joseph Hendry that he wants a personal representative at Three Mile Island to take charge of activities and report directly to him. Hendry turns to Harold Denton. Denton is an engineer who has been leading the emergency team at NRC headquarters in Bethesda, Maryland. Now he arrives in Pennsylvania with presidential authority. Almost immediately, the mood begins to change. Harold Denton uh, of the NRC was, uh, was sent in to be kind of like the reassuring public figure who could give out the information and have people actually believe him. When Harold Denton arrived, there suddenly was a sense that here was someone you could trust. And it was a great relief after days of talking to publicists and press people from Metropolitan Edison. I am advising those who may be particularly susceptible. Thornburg had ordered the evacuation of pregnant women and children. Now, if Roger Matson's warning about the danger of the hydrogen bubble is correct, every resident in a 10-mile radius should be evacuated. The problems of such a task would be extraordinary. But so would the loss of life if the governor makes a mistake. Governor Thornburg was faced with a difficult situation. I wouldn't have wanted to be in his shoes for, for the world. Harold Denton has looked carefully at the data and talked to other engineers about the hydrogen bubble and the immediate danger of meltdown. He is more confident about the situation than Roger Matson. Governor Thornburg decides to gamble on Denton's opinion. But it's certainly days before uh, flammability limits would be reached and many more days after that before detonation limits would be reached, all of which assume that we did nothing but sit on our hands here instead of uh, getting the hydrogen out of the vessel. At the same press conference, the governor makes a shocking announcement, one that will do much to at last end many people's fears. President Carter will be paying a visit to the area make a personal on-site visit. But what most of America does not understand is that there is still strong disagreement within the NRC as to whether the hydrogen bubble is close to blowing the roof off the containment building, perhaps with the president inside. The president did take a chance by coming. But he had advice from some of his, his people that he really shouldn't go, that it was still not safe enough for the president of the United States to, to go there. But he was a nuclear engineer. He knew probably better than, than any other public elected official you know, what was going on, what the dangers were. Sunday, April 1st, 10 AM. Even as the president's helicopter comes in for a landing in Harrisburg, Matson and Victor Stello, another NRC engineer, are locked in a heated dispute over the threat of the hydrogen bubble. Harold Denton briefs the president and Mrs. Carter on the situation. He is very direct and tells the president of the dispute between his staff as to the present danger at the plant. Carter doesn't hesitate. He starts downriver toward Three Mile Island. The president tours the plant. The tour does not uncover any new facts for the president's consideration or the public's consumption. Its purpose is simple, restore public confidence. When the president came uh, along with his wife, we felt that uh, the president of the United States is not going to come if it's not safe. And when he came, it, was, uh, it really was a relief as far as the people were concerned. 
But the important moment of Carter's visit is not taking place with the president inside the plant, but in an office trailer where Roger Matson and Victor Stella frantically analyze chemical calculations together. As the president's visit is concluding, Stella at last finds the error in the calculations that proves his point. They do have time, days, perhaps weeks. The hydrogen can be released gradually, ending the danger of a massive explosion. And finally, engineers will be able to slowly shut down the reactor. The end of the crisis is in sight. Disaster was averted at Three Mile Island. But the scale of what might have been is difficult for most people to imagine. Yes, there was talk of radioactivity and some sort of meltdown. And a few thousand people were temporarily forced from their homes, but no one died. To anyone living in another part of America, not much seems to have happened. To begin to comprehend what almost happened on a small island in the Susquehanna River, it is necessary to look at another nuclear power plant half a world away.